Hey, good evening. Welcome to Room 210 News. I am very sorry that it is late to coming to you today. Time is just kind of getting away from me here lately, so excuse my tardiness and not getting to you today by 6, uh, 30 or 6 o'clock like I normally try to. A few things that I did want to mention um, going on this week um, just with our digital classroom. So we are launching our digital platform this week, which will be Google Classroom in conjunction with Flipgrid. So with that being said, um, I will be sending out Google Classroom logins tomorrow to everyone who is um, in our class. And so I will be pushing those out to you guys tomorrow. If you could do me a huge favor and let me know, um, try to get on um, Monday or Tuesday and let me know what kind of glitches you're having and so that I can kind of help you work it out before our official launch on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, April 1st, we're going to be launching our Google Classroom experience, um, and it will be like a soft launch. So there will only be just a few assignments uh, for reading and a few assignments for math, just so that your student can get their um, grips in um, Google Classroom and understanding what this online learning might look like for us um, in our classroom. So that's happening on April 1st, soft launch, and that will end on Friday. Um, on the third and then we are going to take spring break as normal and so the week of um, April the 6th through April the 10th will be spring break as normally planned and so no new curriculum or no new activities on Google Classroom will be pushed out at that point when we come back from spring break on April the um, April the 13th that is when we will be launching Google Classroom in full effect. So there will be um, about four reading assignments and about four math assignments uh, to be done every week. And so my encouragement to you on that will be, you know, work with your student as, um, as they can. So obviously we're not going to be able to recreate school at home because uh, that's not very practical. So if you wanted to have them do everything in a few days, that's good with me. If you want them to do one activity per day, that's good with me. Whatever works for you and your family, that's what I want you to do. So there's going to be about four math and four reading per week. Have them done by Friday. If you do it all on Monday, great. If you don't... Um, if you want to spread it out throughout the week, fantastic. Like I said, you make a schedule that's going to work for you and your family in the best way for online learning to take place in your home. We are still going to be doing the daily read aloud with Flipgrid response. I just feel like that's a great way to keep us connected. So in addition to the Google Classrooms, I will still be pushing out the daily read aloud for your student to listen to and then for them to respond to on Flipgrid. Um, we are still serving lunch at our school every day from 11 to 1, so please come out and see us starting tomorrow, Monday the 30th. Um, Monday, March the 30th, the building will not be open to the public anymore, so if you need anything, just let me know. I will have it outside for you, and you can come up and drive up through the car line, and I'll be right there to greet you um, and hand you what you have requested. Um, I just want to be available for you in this time as well as um, parents. I want to help you in any way that I can. So if you have any kind of concerns or questions about what's going on at your home with your student's education, please reach out to me, and I'm going to be more than happy to assist you through this difficult time um, of transitioning from in-school face-to-face learning to online learning at home. Um, and so just a quick recap, Google Classroom starts to, um, Wednesday, April the 1st. I'm pushing out usernames tomorrow. Please try to log on Monday or Tuesday to let me know if you're able to get on so that I'm able to help you um, if you're not able to get on. Um, and then lunch is still being served every day from 11 to 1 at our school. Uh, please feel free to ask me any questions that you may have. Um, I want to be open for you. 
um, and to help you in any way that I can. So if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, just let me know. Um, you can either email me or now most of you should have my personal phone number. Feel free to give me a call um, or a text anytime and I'm going to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if not, I'm going to see you back next week for another episode of Room 210 News and tomorrow morning for another Read Aloud with Mr. Todd.